Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about why I should know how to create a stamp layer in Photoshop. Let's talk about what it is and what will it do for us. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, let's talk about what a visible stamp layer is and why we would use this in Photoshop. But again, um, how do we actually create one? So here I am in Photoshop and I've got this image opened up and I added a couple adjustment layers here. So let's take a look at that right now. Let me turn these two off. I did a hue and saturation adjustment layer where I pulled the saturation down a bit. Let me see it over here a little bit. So pull that slider down. And then this is a color adjustment I did. So you can just see a slight difference between uh, before and after on that. Now, let's say I want to do something else, like I want to add a uh, filter to my composition right here, or maybe use a plugin that I own and I could use within Photoshop. Well, I got a problem because number one, let's say um, I'd like to do a uh, blending mode here on layers. And I'd like to use multiply to darken this image down a little bit and paint in some light and do some creative things. Well, I really can't do that. I, I mean, I can go to a blending mode here and choose multiply. It's just not going to give me the same result because it's affecting my color here. So what I want to do is create a stamp visible layer, which means let's take all the layers that we have that are visible. Let's be at the top of our stack and do the shortcut keystroke. You have to do the one hand over here, shift control alt. I'm holding that down. And with one finger here, I tap on the letter E like an Edward. And that creates a stamp visible layer. So what it does is it takes everything it sees, consolidates it, and put it on a single layer. Now I can go over here and pick different blending modes because there's actual pixels in my project to actually use. If you're on a Mac, uh, you're going to do uh, Shift Command Option E, and that will give you the, give you the visible stamp layer. So I'm going to delete that layer. Let's turn it off, and let's get rid of that. And let me just show you that uh, here, here in my stack. <clears throat> excuse me. If I go to filter drop down menu, all, of a sudden, all these filters are grayed out. I can't use any of my plugins. I can't use any of the filters. And the reason is there are no pixels on this layer. It's an adjustment layer. So what I have to do to make a filter work on this image, I have to create a visible stamp layer. So again, shift control alt E or shift command option E on a Mac. There is my stamp layer, the very top of my stack. And now if I come down to filter, I have all these different filters I could use that are built into the program. But if you own a plugin, like I'm just going to grab, uh, let's go to Skylum software. I'm going to grab Luminar Neo. And it'll take a few seconds for this to open up. But my point is that filter could not open up unless I had a visible stamp layer. Now this is opened up. I'm just going to grab something really quick here. I'm um, just sort of goofing around. Uh, let's go to experimental and glow. And I'm not going to change any adjustments because this is not about this plugin. It's the, the importance of creating that stamp layer so I can use these plugins and other filters that I own and use in Photoshop. So I'll let that process. It'll take a few seconds and it'll drop it in and it'll actually alter and change the pixels on that stamp layer. So there we go. There's my before, after, before, and after. And again, I could play with the, the opacity on that. So that's the key thing to remember is that if you want to use your filters or any plugins in Photoshop and you're building a composite or composition and you're using adjustment layers, you have to create a stamp visible layer at the very top to apply that filter because it needs pixels to work with. Uh, if I didn't have that top layer right there, the stamp visible layer, I can't apply what I just did uh, on uh, the very top here because, again, there's no pixels on that adjustment layer and that one below it. So hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions, you know where the email is at. Please email me at stephenphotoartist at gmail.com. And please, if you like this little tip, please like this video. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you activate the notification bell so next time I upload a video, uh, it, you'll get reported on that. So with that out of the way, always remember... Keep thinking out of the box and keep shooting those images. See ya.